Yeah, yeah. Train go by. Ooh. I just woke up. Give me a few minutes. Alrighty. Okay, train. Bye. Just leave your tracks. Shut up and go along. Okay, now that's gone. I can hear myself talk. Advice and feedback for everybody over at DE. Um, a lot of people said gains for effort. <clears throat> okay. We can, I can take that and I can run with it and say you know how we spend uh, a few minutes in a few missions you know not the endless ones such as survivals uh, defenses and interceptions and the other one it fucking forgot the name of them <laughs> I haven't committed that to memory just yet You know how we spend just a few minutes in those missions? <clears throat> okay. Doesn't matter which game mode, normal, hard, ultra hard, make it to where loot drop gives you more of what it drops and drops more items out of the loot table for that specific enemy type and it gives you more as you get into higher level enemies uh, metas you might want to go with is a metric fuck ton of credits for the corpus so you know you get level ones that they might drop like 15 10 15 credits and you keep going up and up from there all the way to where you know we get to level what was it what was it in the void 40 40 to 45 and they're dropping 100 credits each as you kill them more reward for doing higher level stuff because the lower level stuff is meant to basically introduce you to the game how it functions how it works so more reward for higher level stuff um, not only increase the um, you know but that faction's gonna be known for dropping or hoarding either way but with corpus it's definitely gonna be credits and field drawn samples and um, what, what else did the corpus drop oxium ospreys yeah, the higher the level, the more oxium you get out of them. And also, on top of that, let that stack with the mastery rank thing I was talking about. Where the higher your mastery rank, the more loot drop and reward you get out of it. Just let it stack. Just let people earn that, and let that be the incentive that drives people to want to play the game as they rank up in mastery rank every rank they'll get more as they play higher level stuff they'll get more <clears throat> don't be afraid that 
eventually people will get bored because quite simply you want people to get more for the effort they've put into it for reaching that mastery rank for playing higher level things so that when you release your hard mode and your ultra hard mode not only are you going to give people more for that and those extra mod card slots that I, I sent you a dissertation about not only is that going to make mastery rank mean more than just I spent a minimum of 30 days playing the game but that's going to allow people to easily farm to acquire the resources to build the things in the game to get to that master rank it's going to help them go quicker through it don't worry about that that's fine that's as it should be you don't want people spending years and years in the game you want people to enjoy it and to get through it at their own pace a lot of people will rush through it other people they'll take their time and that's just the thing you're providing the player the ability to play it at their own speed and for people who are fine with the rewards for doing things not increasing you know, throw in the option for them to toggle that on and off switch in the menu somewhere and let that stack with resource drop chance boosters and resource doublers and I've already noticed you, you, can, you nerfed uh, the drop rate for mods to introduce the mod drop chance booster just put the mod drop chance back where it was let the booster double that let people get more trust me just trust me on this I know what I'm talking about I've been gaming I've been playing video games since the fucking Atari 2600 and I agree with Conan O'Brien when he said that <laughs> um, <clears throat> what was it what game was it it was uh, E.T. that game he said it was the cycles of depression I agree that game is depressing and tedious but aside from the antidote which is meant for comedic purposes D just do what I'm telling you okay it'll benefit you in the long run because you want your your community your fan base your gamers in there you want them to say this is fucking good we get more reward the higher level enemies we defeat we get more reward when we mastery rank up so we can go back and play level one enemies in in those low level missions and we can get more out of it second go around you want the player to get more out of it the longer they play not less <clears throat> so do that <clears throat> uh, what else? Now uh, with Grenier, it was plastids, a few bits of Oricon cells. Hmm. Uh, detonite ampules. What the hair? Stay out of my face. Uh, with the infested, it was um, a little bit of overlap with some of the grenier items, a little bit of overlap with some of the corpus items, 
and Nero's and the, those new resource pustules but the grenier the new resource was carbide and with the corpus the new resource was uh, um, copernix and uh, cubic diodes so yeah throw that in on the higher level stuff start it at one of the higher levels and it, you just get more the higher level you go with that same deal with the endless mission types the more you go the more you get all the way to the point <coughs> where you're getting a uh, a few hundred of every resource and one or two out of every mod that that enemy uh, bracket and uh, its reward pool can drop. Just let that be. Don't fuss with it. Just let the mod drops uh, booster and the resource uh, drop rate and boosters stack on top of that. Let the credit boosters stack on top of it all. <clears throat> so that when people go for an hour or so, most people, it's going to average to an hour. You've got kids who go and do school and, and homework and shit. you got a grown people who go and do work and shit and then you've got a very niche very small group like me who just has infinite time to sit here and play the game as long as we want but even though I've got all that time I'm not gonna sit there and play all fucking day every day so you're, you're gonna average about an hour realistically so you want to push to balance your uh, higher level enemies for that to where they drop more at that hour mark and then uh, at an hour and 15 minutes let that double and for people who actually do have the time to go for like two or three hours in those endless mission types you're, you're gonna have to talk to them and find out where to balance doubling again for either what two hours or three hours and just work your way to it but trust me what I'm telling you is a really good thing to do uh, what else <clears throat> That ties in increasing enemy level with reward drop. That ties in mastery rank with reward drop. That ties in the boosters with reward drop. That ties in gains for effort. That ties all that up. What else? basically just make the game less grindy the higher level you go and the more you get mastery rank that way it's hey I've earned the ability to have this massive reward drop because that's what you want also I, I would like to see the um, uh, daily login reward thingy changed around and retroactively go back and make it to where if somebody's missed some days like I missed nearly a thousand fucking days worth that it, it's all counted up and all those rewards are given out um, on the next login after that update that way I can go back and get what I missed. That way everyone else who's missed a few login days 
that way the people who can't log in every day can go back and pick up what they missed. So just make it count from their last login to their most recent login. And the retroactive part goes back to the very first time they ever logged in and counts all the days they've gotten a reward and all the days they missed and gives them the ones that they missed all the way up to their current login. And then it goes from that and switches to, okay, this login and moves on forward and counts whatever they miss and whatever they've already got. This isn't just about making the game more rewarding because making the game better has the side effect of increasing the number of people who want to play the game and thereby increasing the number of people who feel better about the game and will be more willing to buy things in the microtransactions. And then on top of all that as far as buying uh, stuff in the market, yeah, some things are really overpriced. Like uh, 30 platinum for 300 oxium. That used to be 3,000. <clears throat> Same with a few other resources. Used to be like 10 platinum for 3,000 of it. That was worth buying. That was worth boosting yourself with, and it should be like, uh, as far as buying credits goes, the those credit packs should be like uh, ten platinum, then twenty platinum, then then thirty platinum. And it should be one million, two million, three million. Or, you know, give a bonus for buying in bulk. So you get six million if you buy one for 30 platinum. Go with that. Give people more for their effort and give everyone more for buying in bulk at your uh, market. Also, uh, 25 to 50% reduce, just reduce the cost of platinum by about 25 to 50%. 50% at most, 25% at minimum. Because you want to give people more for what they're doing. And don't worry about money. When you have a, a good product and a good service to that product and DE. A game is a service and a product. It's a product that serves people's pursuit of happiness. What you want to do is build the game to support that freedom as much as possible. So do that. Take it and run with it. And whether you disagree or agree with what I'm saying is irrelevant. What I'm saying is to benefit everyone. Not just you, and not just me, but everyone holistically. Which is why I said throw in an option in the menu to turn it on and off. That way, those of you who are going to argue against it, you have nothing to stand on. The option is there to turn it off. Shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear your bitching and whining.
Not yet. Until next time. Fuck off.